Hey, morning guys. Hope you are doing well. Uh, this is Ariana here, my oldest granddaughter. We're watching her and the baby uh, from my daughter. Hey, listen, just want to reach out to you. I was in a meeting with uh, Ray last night, a video conference, and he thought it'd be a good idea maybe just to share a quick song and for us all to connect. And uh, briefly, I just want to let you all know that I'm thinking about you and praying for you, especially uh, for you guys that are having your uh, jobs impacted. Uh, I am as well. And uh, just to, you know, encourage you and let you know that you're on uh, on my mind, on the mind of uh, the table facilitators, everything else. So let's uh, let's go share a quick song and a quick word and we'll roll after that. I count on one thing The same God that never fails Will not fail me now He won't fail me now In the waiting The same God that's never late Is working all things out Is working all things out Maybe yes I will Lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy in all my days. Yes, I will for all my days. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I count on one thing. I count on one thing. The same God that never fails. He won't fail me now. He won't fail me now. In the waiting. The same God that's never late. Is working all things out. You're working all things out, and yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy in all my days. Yes, I will for all. Yes, I will. And I choose to praise, to glorify, to glorify the name of all names. That nothing can stand against. And I choose to praise, Lord, to glorify, to glorify the name of all names. That nothing can stand against. Oh, yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy in all my days. Yes, I will for all Yes, I will for all my days. Yes, I will. will trust you, Lord. I'm going to praise you, God. Even when I'm afraid, Lord. You know, a while back, uh, I shared a message. Remember, we talked about the lesson of the loaves. And in the lesson of the loaves, it was out of Mark chapter 6. And recall that the disciples were going across the, the lake, uh, someplace, by the way, that Jesus had sent them. They were following his instructions. And as they do that, um, uh, remember that Jesus, you know, Jesus came out. There was a storm. 
Jesus came out and was walking by and they were terrified. They were afraid of him. And the scriptures say that, um, that they were terrified of him because they hadn't understood the lesson of the loaves. And recall that, you know, what the lesson of the loaves was, was this. It was a lesson about the faithfulness of God, right? Because what Jesus showed in the feeding of the 5,000 the first time was, was three different things. And these lessons are keepers for us, and they're especially poignant right for where we are now. And that was, the lesson of the loaves was that, one, Jesus was the creator God, able to create something out of virtually nothing, right? As he created all enough to feed 5,000 people with a couple loaves and a few fish, the second lesson was that Jesus was compassionate, right? It says that he had compassion upon the people, and that was the reason that he multiplied the loaves and the fish in the first place, that he saw their need. And then third, that the lesson was that Jesus was more than enough. Remember, they noted in the scriptures that, that as the, after they, the feeding was over, that the disciples went around and picked up all these baskets of fragments of fish and loaves. And... Um, and the whole point was, was for the disciples and, and even for you and I, right, to look back at God's faithfulness and to understand as we encounter things in our lives, what we fall back on is his track record. We fall back on the, this lesson of the loaves of knowing, one, that he's the creator God. He's not short on power of being able to work in our situation and to work good through our situations. You know, it was interesting that the disciples have been sent across the, the, the lake. At Jesus' instruction, and there they ran into trouble. And, and he was showing that, hey, I'm, I'm going to be enough for you. So the second part, right, is understand that he is, his ear is not deaf. He's not, you know, he's not unable to sympathize with the challenges that we're going through. He is compassionate. He cares. And then that third part, right, of knowing that he's more than enough. You know, so as we go through this stuff for you and for your family, for my family, right, our thing is to continue to point back to this lesson, and that is that Jesus is one that can be depended on, right? And in the midst of rowing across the lake, in the midst of a fearful time, in the midst of difficulty, even in the midst of need, we know that he can be depended upon because he's shown himself to be that over and over again. And, uh, and so I just want to encourage you today, I know a lot are having a tough time in a variety of ways, some just emotionally and, and uh, you know, things of anxiety and so on, and then others, a very physical perspective that, uh, that they're feeling a lack or a concern about pay and all the rest. And um, man, I, I feel for you all, we're all walking the same road, but each of us feel it a little bit differently. So I just want to let you know, continue to keep your eye upon him. Remember the lesson of the loaves, and that is that he can be dependent upon. And uh, know that we're praying for you. Please let us know if we can be of service to you. Reach out to me. You guys have got my number, but if not, 702-755-3017. And uh, if there's any way that I can serve you or that uh, some of the other uh, leaders and folks can serve you, don't hesitate to reach out. So listen, I love you all. Father, bless every man. Bless every family that will see this. God, in Jesus' name, may we keep our eyes upon you, Lord, not upon the waves. We know that, Lord, uh, you are the creator. You're all-powerful. We know that you're compassionate, that you care. And we know that you're more than enough for us. And for that, we thank you today. And we love you, Lord. Amen. Bless you all.